Welcome to Vital MTB's 2021 Enduro Test Sessions. We knew just where to test these bikes, Reno, Nevada. Surrounded by rugged mountains, strewn with rocky trails, we knew the biggest little city would be the perfect proving grounds for our bikes. Sky Tavern Bike Park is a nonprofit that operates on city land and is free for the public to ride. Their expanding trail network includes an adaptive green trail all the way to hard-hitting black diamond runs. From heavy downhills to steep, challenging climbs, the Sierras threw it all at our test bikes. In this video, we'll be looking at the USA-made Gorilla Gravity Narvana Rally Like Borelli Edition. To read the full review, make sure to head to vitalmtb.com after this video. Gorilla Gravity is a Colorado-based outfit that is manufacturing its frames in-house. They use a material called Rev Carbon and a proprietary method to form the front ends. Gorilla Gravity also takes a modular approach to frames. Riders can swap out the rear of their bikes to achieve more travel or alter the wheel size. As of right now, the Gorilla Gravity is only available as a full 29er. The Narvana is GG's biggest bike, boasting 160 millimeters of travel to accompany the 170 millimeter travel fork. Vital had a first look with the Narvana shortly after its launch and found it to be an absolute monster on the trails. Gorilla Gravity uses an adjustable headset cup that alters the frame's reach. During our initial test, we rode a larger frame in the long setting for maximum send. For test sessions, we wanted to take a different approach and see if there was more to the Narvana. With two of our testers firmly in the size 2 category and two of our testers just on the cusp of size 3, we opted for the size 2. We had the Rally Like Borelli signature model, which features a RockShox Zeb and Super Deluxe Select Plus for suspension. The bike uses a SRAM GX drivetrain and SRAM Code R brakes. There's a flashy set of i9 wheels with gold touches to go with the bike's graphics. Nice touches like the PNW bar and grips, along with a custom saddle, round out the parts. Here are the numbers as they shook out for our size 2 test bike. Being only one millimeter smaller than the Banshee meant that the Narvana had the smallest reach in this test at 444 millimeters. This is offset by a longer 450 millimeter chainstay length. With a 63.7 degree head angle, the Narvana ends up with a 1239 millimeter wheelbase. This gave the Narvana the same wheelbase as the Pivot Firebird, despite having a 24 millimeter shorter reach. With its own recipe for rallying, what did our testers think of the Narvana? For me, the surprises on this bike just kept coming. It was the more that I rode it, the more it kind of surprised me. First ride impression right away was this feels way that the head head angle felt much more slack than it actually is. In terms of strengths for the Gorilla Gravity, it's just downhill, steep, pointing it. Doesn't change direction super easily, so you can pick a line or not pick a line and be just fine in terms of, uh, especially the rougher stuff. What really surprised me the most about this bike was um, just how much bigger it felt than, than I think what it, uh, what it was. You know, it's already a big 170 uh, Travel 29er. It felt even bigger than that. If you wanted to ride steep tech, you know, I got you. You want to do fast, jump lines, I got you. I will say the, the weaknesses, it did, you know, it felt like a bigger bike and um, you c it pedaled well, I thought, but you're certainly, you're not gonna wanna take this on, pedal this on, on big rides. It, it, it did feel like pedaling a bigger bike. Weaknesses, I think it, it's a little too um, linear in the rear end. If it were my bike, I would probably put a volume reducer in the, in the rear shock. Um, but I think that works good for some people. To get the most out of the Narvana, riders need to be willing to push their limits. Who exactly does that describe though? I think the bike's for people who, uh, who don't, want to, uh, don't want to think a whole lot and just want to, want to go get on a bike and, and shred and hit some rocks and, and be, uh, be comfortable. I'd say primarily, um, someone that wants to ride the bike park a lot, do shuttles. But I did find that it, it definitely shined more the more you pushed it. Like it really, I don't think I, I you know, someone could be, would love this bike and ride it super aggressively. But at the same time, 
for someone that wants like a safe, stable ride that, like I said, could kind of have autopilot, like you could, um, it could be for that person too. I would say it's, it's definitely for more of an aggressive rider. If you're looking for more of a bike that you're going to go out and pedal every day and you're looking at clocking like a lot of miles, I probably you wouldn't recommend it. It says right there on the head tube, rally like Borelli. <laughs> um, this is for individuals that, um, that really do ride um, that steeper, nastier terrain, um, especially at higher speeds. On our test loop, the very top portion is really steep. It's not that fast, um, but then about a third of the way down, the speeds pick up and it stays, it, it's still really steep, but it's not quite like free ridey. Um, and it's just strewn with, uh, with like softball sized boulders and being able to just let it go and fly through that, um, I mean, you just feel like an absolute hero. So if that speaks to you, then, then the Nirvana is, is gonna be a great bike. We really enjoyed our time with the Nirvana and we're impressed with what Gorilla Gravity has put together. Riders looking for a big bike have found their steed. To read the entire review with more in-depth analysis, you'll have to head to vitalmtb.com. If you want to know more about what the Washoe Valley has to offer, head to visitrenotahoe.com. And until next time, go ride your bike.